Yo, what is up everybody? We are back again with another character reveal and breakdown. With Evo just wrapping up, we were hit with two character reveals. The first was Raven, and the second reveal is an all new character named Azucena. Just like the Raven video, I watched it during my drive home, and unfortunately like, I was out on the phone, so I couldn't see it all in full detail. So now we are gonna watch it in 4K. So uh, the initial impressions I saw from my phone, um, she was dope looking. Um, being a Peruvian myself and seeing an actual Peruvian finally in the game is amazing. Um, her outfit uh, had a lot of nods to the culture with the colors and the patterns on her jacket. Um, the coffee thing, although it's kind of tropey, I guess, right? Listen, it's true. We love our coffee. <laughs> it is what it is. Um, now for her fighting style, I saw that she was evading a ton of moves. And based off the PlayStation article I just wrote, I just wrote, I just read, um, it looks like it's a stance that just evades lows and highs. But I think I saw her evade a mid. I think I think she evaded Brian's while standing three. So maybe that's an entirely different stance that she has also that kind of just like shimmies backwards. Um, the animations also looked very similar to Anderson Silva, the MMA fighter. I don't know if any of you guys are UFC fans, um, but he was known to do evades like that during his fights. Um, mainly to get into his opponent's head and to have them whiff, and then he would obviously counterattack and whatnot. Um, but that was also his major downfall, right? Because um, when he actually fought, what was his name? It was a quite, a, it was quite a few actually. Now that I think about it, um, when he fought somebody that was calm during the fight and didn't always try to counterattack. They just waited for Silva to sway, and then when he swayed to a point that he couldn't recover fast enough, they just swung during that time, and he got blown up a lot for it. Um, so chances are that's probably going to be uh, Susanna's Achilles heel, because um, she re pretty much is going to rely on your opponent getting impatient and pressing against her. But if your opponent isn't pressing against her, she's just going to open herself up to punishment. Either way, uh, let's jump into the video. 16. All right, hopefully the audio is nice and crispy. Um, let's see. I will say the stage looked amazing. Um, it was obviously Machu Picchu. Um, if you haven't been there, you should go. Um, there were yamas everywhere and little UFOs, I think, also. I think there was a couple in the air. One directly above and then one to the side. Yeah, see, the colors are on point. He's like, I have hats that have that same exact pattern. Well, not the same exact pattern, but the same alpaca blend hats um, with, mold, with like bright colors and everything. So that is like entirely accurate. Plus her pants are the Peruvian flag. I don't know if you guys caught that. Yeah, dude, that, that's so Anderson Silva. So she has Fakka Ram's down three. See, like, granted, yeah, Anderson Silva didn't do such extravagant dodges, so they're embellished a little, but the idea is there. And the fact that she is an MMA fighter, so she's doing all the, all the petrol looks dope. Okay, so chances are, if you get hit by the mid, the final hit is guaranteed. Okay, engager. Overhead. Hopefully that slowdown was just with the trailer, and not like a slowdown in the middle of the match. I don't get the shuffle. Why is she shuffling? Yeah, it's choppy, but whatever. Yeah, see, there's more mids. That was Josie's uppercut. Yeah, the PlayStation article said that when she's in heat, on successful dodges, she can attack afterwards. Okay, that wall, that wall explosion is different than the ones we saw before in the other stages, because they crossed over. They went above her head. That's probably a way Namco's going to use to balance the wall explosions now. Because some characters got an absurd amount of damage at the wall, so this way all they get is just wall carry to the opposite side. Unless someone finds a way to re recross under after the explosion or cross over under the explosion to push him back towards the wall um yeah she looks dope 
a lot of energy. Um, and I do like how it's, um, like, how can I say? It's like, it is tropey. Like, she's getting in her face, but that's kind of like what Anderson Silva did, too. It's like he was always showboating. Um, actually, let's not play it again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to edit it just how I normally am, but this time around, she's an all-new character, so we're not going to know what the inputs are or what the frame data or what or what the actual, you know, mechanics... Well, we do know some of the mechanics, but... Like, what the main strings are, and inputs and whatnot. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop it up, and we'll kind of break it down and try to get a general idea of what exactly the moves are and the properties on them, really. Because a lot of it was just them showing off our mechanics, right? So a lot of it's going to go by fairly quick. So give me one second, and we'll be right back. What is up? Editor me here. Um, what we are going to do is the same as we normally do. Two normal speed clips and two slow-mos so you can actually see what's happening because all these trailers go by way too fast. So, let's hop into it. Okay, so it looks like 1-1 one, one into the stance. As we can see, it beats throws. So it beats lows, highs, and throws. It looks like a 1-1. One, one. Or one forward one, one back one, who knows. And then down four, four. Not sure if that will be an actual string, but... So the so that double punch staggers. Interesting. And that throw looks so cool. So she has a manual version of the stance. Look, she kind of like leans forward and taunts. He goes for a 2-1 and gets evaded into a throw. Veer naked choke almost. That was like a triangle hold that looks like it. Oh, okay, so this is what I saw. So it's like Fakaram's down three <laughs> into a back sway. Oh, so she was back turned. It probably leaves her back turned. So her, ev her evasion stand also works back turned. So when it's back turned, it probably it probably avoids mids. So that looks like a down forward one string. Yeah. So so she has the evade that can go back turned, right? And then they attack back turned. So she has a mid option out of the back turn. This is so interesting. It probably it's probably just an attack throw there. Down forward one, one maybe, into the stance that goes back turned, back turned mid punch. That's an attack throw. Okay, which looks cool. So that's this is just an evasion showcase by the looks of it. So low, high, high, mid, but she already sized up the mid, so I don't think she evaded the mid. Oh, so she has Lucky Chloe's manual back turn stance, and <laughs> that low crushes. So she has an attack out of the, the low evade, by the looks of it. And then her 1 plus 2 throw, which looks cool as hell. So down forward three into a fake punch. Into the stance and then dodges the low and kick. So it's kind of like Anna's stance, just buff <laughs> with movement and whatnot. That throw looks dope. So three and she goes for a punch and then fakes and then evades. Evades the low and then four three into a one plus two two through throw, which looks cool as hell. If you think about it. <laughs> okay, so that's that string is probably a natural if the mid hits, if the second hit mids. Right? It goes block and then hit hit. And then the flip kick to tornado. This stage is so cool. So tornado, two, one, four. 
Like this stage is just really pretty. So this stage has a balcony break and a floor break. That leads into a place that has explosions. So here we have a haymaker that's a heat engager into an orbital. Who had an orbital like that in seven? It looks super familiar. She has a lot of like Miguel type hits, which makes sense because Miguel was a brawler, right? So it's like haymaker, heat engager, orbital with two hits, then stance into like it looks like a wall standing floor one two and then she does is that a heat engage yeah that that's probably her heat smash which looks very similar to brian's also that haymaker is also a power crush based off the animation two and then the heat smash which looks like Brian's heat smash. <laughs> so then more showcase stuff. And look, that uppercut looks like the uppercut from Josie's uh, rage art. All right. Like the evade animation, super fluid. Oh, okay. So she has a backswing blow. So that's going to be good at the wall. So now here's where PlayStation Magazine said um, when she's in heat, she automatically, like on successful dodges, does certain moves. So I guess on lows, she gets a launch. That automatically tail spins and then she spikes. It looks like that kick can lead into back turn stance. So then she goes, I guess, forward, forward three something so tornado spike because there she's ending back turned but the floor breaks and she ends up facing forward and then it looks like she dashes yeah three two so there she successfully avoided a mid no a high in heat and she just did like a an uppercut that tail spun no it doesn't tail spin. it just flops them over She probably just gets one more, one extra hit. Okay, so she has a two hit wall splat. And this is what I meant before. It's like when the explosion happens before, it's like they would push you backwards and they would land in front of you. But on this one, they flop over you. So you have the entire stage opened up. That was like a quick wall splat. If it's 13, that'd, that'd be great. Oh, she has Josie's knee. <laughs> So then heat, heat burst. She has a an axe kick similar to Jun. Yeah, that looks fast. So that's probably a 13 frame wall splat. So then Josie's knee, heat burst, and then Jun's side step four or side step three. No, that looks like Anna's. Oh, sorry, Anna's. And then a two hit. And then there's that haymaker again, which on counter hit stuns. And then her rage art, eh, it's all right. Like it, it looks, it fits the character. It's just nothing super amazing, I think. But yeah, overall, um, she's looking like she's gonna fit the archetype of those characters that like, you should only press a button if your attack is going to hit, or if you know your attack is going to hit, you know? So like she'll fall in line with like say Jin, Fang, Yoshi, Raven, Eddie, Ling, and Leroy, right? So she's gonna be in that type of archetype where like you can't play the same type of Tekken that you normally play against the entire cast. So you're gonna to have to know when you can press, when you cannot. So conditioning is gonna be a big part by the looks of it of her gameplay. Cause knowing the fact that you cannot press against her it's gonna make you pull your punches, literally, right? Um, so when the Asusena player knows that you're gonna be pulling punches, essentially, um, it's gonna open her up to being more aggressive. 
So when she's in heat, she's going to have pretty much free reign to press against you. And you're just going to have to take it unless you just get annoyed of all the pressure and you want to swing back. And then her auto evade stance is going to be there. And swinging back in heat is going to be detrimental because because she has all those follow-ups now that automatically occur on successful evades. So she's going to be an interesting character. I can see she's going to be very toxic in the hands of like people who just want to troll other people and she's going to be a character like similar to Eddie that like once they get the correct read on you and you react a certain way they're going to throw you know option Z into the play which is the the evade and it's going to blow up your entire your entire game plan and it's going to frustrate you and this type of character looks like she's going to be very frustrating to fight against and that's where she's going to shine so definitely a very interesting character. The archetype is there. Um, I like the fact that she, how she fights like Anderson Silva, which is one of like the more entertaining MMA fighters. Um, yeah, I like it. Uh, being Peruvian is awesome. Uh, and seeing a lot of like my cultural stuff popping up in here is great. And she honestly looks very fun to play as well. So I can't wait to actually get our hands on this particular build if we get another beta to occur. Or if we actually, the next version of the game that we play is the final release. Who knows? Um, so yeah, guys, um, if you're not subscribed, uh, go ahead and subscribe. If you like the video, like the video. Um, like always, I appreciate your time and hope you have a great day. Take care.